historia que platicar todos tenemos algo que decir porque todos estamos en una lucha en una constante insípida lucha que nos lleva a un lugar
map is music, art, and poetry, a project motivated by the need for more spaces to promote local artistic talent. The goal is to provide authors and creatives the space necessary for community development and artistic expression. My bilingual heart is singing for joy. Map in Spanish is música, arte, y poesía. Perfect. For those that don't know me, my name is Monica Einstein. I'm an entrepreneur, an ideator, and a healer. But tonight, I am foremost the daughter of Adriana Urman, a woman that fought the dictatorship in Argentina and who's motivated me to ask, what would I do in her shoes? The answer tonight is, I'm starting with this. Well, something, at SOB, which is another acronym that I love. And I'm doing this with all of you. Through Resistencia, creating a better future for my deliciously bilingual daughter of five and three quarters, and creating a better future for you and your loved ones. Special acknowledgments for tonight. We have SOB, which is Son of a Bean, perfect name for a coffee shop. We have Leonardo Ceballos with Arte Clandestino, and he is the instigator and creator of all this. He called Raquel Ruiz, my wonderful friend, and basically said, what are we doing for Sacramento? What are we doing for it not to be called Sacra Muerto and Sacra Tomato and all of that? So this is, this is a little bit of his brainchild and hopefully the first of many. Raquel Ruiz is an author and social media extraordinaire. I think I like to call her that. She's also a fighter, so you'll hear a little bit more about her. Um, Rodrigo Zamora with New Yorkinos. Is that how you pronounce it? Yes. That's him right there, and he was accompanying Sal. And myself with Spanish One Plus, just to promote this and keep this going. I will introduce the Poet Laureate of Sacramento. Indigo Moore's three books of poetry include his 2017 release, In the Room of Thirsts and Hungers. His second book, Through the Stonecutter's Window, won the Northwestern University's Press Kava Kanem Prize for second book of poetry. Please help me welcome the wonderful Indigo Moore.
1837, during the height of the Spanish Civil War, and with the Civil Rights Movement in quick swing in America, Langston Hughes and Ernest Hemingway both found themselves in Spain as correspondents to the Spanish Civil War. They both loved bullfights, and they were both great friends, so they were great friends with each other. And it's rumored that they attended bullfights together. A bullfight, a revolution, and a Langston. Following a gin flask, Hemingway quips, we should live in the ring, not die on our butts in the stands. The matador executes Veronica, wiping the brow of a two-ton Christ. Today, there are no nationalists, no loyalists, everyone is a Spaniard. Ernest believes the Negro will have his day. That all locked doors shatter their frames when kicked open. Three barbed flags dive like swimmers into the bowl. Shouldn't all poetry be that direct? Merciless to Merrill. Tertia de Muerte, the beast sways a cattail and a zephyr. I wonder if he can taste his ancestors' screams in the air. We could hollow his horns and trumpet two civil wars. America to Spain, his sacrifice uniting our struggles. There's a devil in the matador's patience. Sword and maletta, the cake bread not for the bull, but to hide the blood. Every revolution needs a martyr. Mules pull the carcass round the ring like Hector's at Troy. Ernest says maletta and mulatto were meant to sound alike. That both carry a man's hard choices locked in skin.